They're through to the final four of the Champions League. Oh, and this is getting ugly now. Buongiorno from Naples, Italy. What a city this is. But we are here with two simple objectives. Number one, find the best atmosphere in Europe. I came here for Napoli against Ajax last time. 4-2, what a game. Objective number two, find the best pizza in the world. Can we find it? Is there a pizza? Is it over there? I don't know. But what we do have is John Nellis with us as we landed. Look at this. How are we doing? Nice yeah, very you. good. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> As we got out of the taxi to our apartment in Quartieri Spagnoli, our street was covered with blue and white in preparation to celebrate Napoli's third Scudetto. Prepare yourself for this. We decided to get straight into the mission of completing objective number two, finding the best pizza ever. We enjoyed it, but it wasn't the best ever. And after speaking to local Napolitans, we were recommended Da Michele. match day in Naples. I'm buzzing. We're starting it spiritually. We're here in the Maradona mural. This guy was there from 84 to 91 and brought them all the successes in the world. Two Scudettos. They're getting the third this season. <laughs> Look how many different football clubs are here. If you see your club, hit the like button on this video, okay? That's the deal. As you can see above me, all around this city, blue and white, Campiones, number three. They're already convinced that they've won the Serie A for a third time. First double espresso in Naples. First of the day, chin chin. Chin chin. Always got to be double espresso in Italy. I've been spotted. I've been spotted. <laughs> yeah. Three, one. Two's a rough on that pudding. Maradona, Maradona. How's it mean? The Georgian flag for Maradona. Macedonia for Elmas. Beautiful. 3-1. Two goals of uh, Osman. Naples 2-1. Two, 2-1? One. Two, one. Naples 3-1. Some Milan fans, you're the opposition today. You're leading 1-0. 2-1 for Milan. 2-1 for Milan, yeah? I think 1-1 uh, for Milan. So you hold it out and win. First away fans of the day, love that. How big is the match tonight? This is the biggest Napoli match in the history at the moment. Signor, it's taking me to the best coffee in town. First time in our history, we are ready to fight. Best coffee in Naples, yeah? Yes. Caldo Freddo coffee. Is it really possible, the dream of the Champions League? The Champions say every dream can be... Yeah, the best coffee place. We're about to find out. Ow. Just look at that. Without the spoon. Yeah, without the spoon. Enjoy the experience of coffee and all sensation together. Mmm. Wow. Best one. That was the best coffee I've ever had. It breaks all the records on my coffee tier list. In your Florio was right. This coffee was glorious, but it wasn't our objective. What's an apple today? What's an apple? Some top lads, but even more helpful as they led me in the right direction towards Lantica Pizzeria da Michele. I am really thankful for how nice the people of Naples are. Is that enough bikes? <laughs> This is how people get around the city. We've had the best coffee, now we're trying the best pizza in the world. Last time I was here, I ordered the whole menu, all four pizzas. Our fourth one. They put it on the chair because we've ordered so much. This uh, pizzeria is one of the best, I think. I've never had a better pizza, never. This is number one. If you don't already know about this restaurant, it's generally rated hashtag one in the world. Founded in 1870, it's a must for anyone visiting. Oh my God, it's a big one. <laughs> It's falling out. We've had the best coffee, now the best pizza. Naples, it's good to be here. The rumor is, if you hit the like, I will order you this pizza. Three, two, one, good luck. And that is objective number two, complete delicious. We've got two lads, Ireland, England. First time in Damichele. You're about to experience the best pizza you've ever eaten in your life. This is it. In Ireland, they ruined pizza. Oh my days. What am I doing? Oh my, no. <laughs> No! Look at the queue. That's crazy. There's a queue just to get a pizza. It is worth it. The best place in the world for pizza. My fashion sense has changed up a little bit. It's the city of sun, but when it rains, it rains hard. How are we getting there? On the scooter, yeah? On the scooter. Go off the scooter to take it all in for a second. Just look at this view. I'm gonna... This is not about me. This is about Naples. Wow. Right, let's go to the stadium now. Everyone's gathered outside the stadium. Two and a half hours before kickoff. The stadium is right there. This is the furthest stage I've ever got in the Champions League ever. Wow. <laughs> Everyone's bouncing. Hey, I'm ready. The whole city is ready. Oh, 
Ramos or an Alvaro Rimbo Boss. That's the, the cheers, Italian version. Here it comes. Oh, the Milan team boss. Where is the best atmosphere in Europe? Great. Oh, well, atmosphere, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's your number, number one. That flag, Kvarat Skelia, Georgia, with the player on top. And obviously half Russian, half English. So Eastern Europe is, has a very close place in my heart. Two, zero, Karaskelia so. and Rosimen. So why is this game so big? Napoli are taking the Syria crown away from AC Milan. But recently, they just can't figure out how to beat them. But at home, the Blues on Champions League night are different. They've been unbeaten in 12 and winning nine of them. But breaking down this Milan defense won't be easy. They've kept five clean sheets in a row in Europe. Do not write off each team, but right now Milan are leading 1-0. And with key players Kim Min Jae and Anguissa suspended, they'll feel confident. For me? Yeah. One zero. I hope uh, Olivier Giroud. Olivier Giroud, how many times has he done it in Europe? This season, six goals at 36 years of age. Kovara, Osimen, Politano. 3-2 Napoli. 2-0 Napoli. They're not going to win the Champions League. 3-0 Whitewash. Osimen is back. The famous stadium. Absolutely packed out in Diego Armando. There they are. We can't see them from our seat, but the Milan fans are ready. This is going to be banging. Look how much blue and white there is. <laughs> This stadium is alive. They do not like Theo Hernandez. No one was a fan of those players, especially Theo Hernandez. They didn't like him. Here he is. He's the fans have got the flags. They're bringing him around the stadium. Napoli holding up the blue and white. The flags in front of us. The scarves in the ultra section. The whole stadium have created it. I can't say this happens every game in England. Here come the players. Go time. For the last time. Yeah, you ready to hear it? Are you ready for your ears to break? Yeah. 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 My ears! My ears are gone! What just what happened? Just Look at this, the fans in front of us going crazy! Blaise going off from each stand! Now or never, the two Italian clubs facing off in Europe and it was meant to be literal goosebumps being in the stadium right now oh my god the whole stadium's bouncing look at this I can't even see there's so many flags in the way and we're underway we can't even see this is unbelievable. They put ultras in front of our section. The club are working with the ultras. They put ultras in front of us because they Feature. want all the lower Feature. sections. Feature. Feature. Kamara. Feature. Oh. All the lower sections around the stadium have ultras. Everyone is bouncing. Anyway, I'm thinking Napoli and walking this. I haven't seen the land even have a single shot. Oh no. Brahim Diaz blocked. They're asking for a penalty. A penalty has been given. I don't believe this. 22 minutes in. No one in the... I couldn't work out what it... Olivier Giroud with a chance. If Giroud scores this, the draw's done. It's safe! It's safe! It's safe! It's safe! It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. And Diego goes wild! This is what it means to the fans! Everyone's bouncing! believe what's just happened iconic moment inside the Diego Armando this could be football history no way what a save Mere how did Mere save that two back-to-back -back injuries in the first half luck's not going their way surely that's a penalty look at this penalty penalty surely they'll give a penalty now Every fan around us is going crazy. Controllo, possible, rigore. Nothing given, stays 1-0. In the 38 minutes, it's still 0-0. Attempt 3 to Milan, 0 to Napoli. Rafael Liao is beaten 2. And he squares it to Giroud. That might be the goal. That might be the goal that sends AC Milan through the last four in the Champions League. Can't see the Milan fans from here, but here's a small section. 44th minute, one minute before half time, and Milan have made it 2 0 on aggregate. The Napoli fans, credit to them, they're still singing. No way, the goal is disallowed. Osiman knows he can score in this game, he knows he can be a difference, but it just hit his arm. Half time, 
One nil as things stand. Very quiet. Very quiet. A lot needs to change for Napoli. Two goals in the second half needed. Even though they're two 0 down in aggregate, those fans, I respect that a lot. I really do. Back out for the second half. It all comes down to this. Olivier Giroud walks off, kisses the away fans. To Milan, 12 minutes away of normal time from their sixth clean sheet in a row in the Champions League. I don't know what they've got under Napoli, but all the players have just worked it out. All credit goes to Pioli. Penalty! Penalty! A lifeline for Napoli. In the 80th minute. Wow, this is massive. Give the South Italians hope. No, no, Mike Minan, the hero. Milan fans in the away end. You see your heritage, mate. Yeah, I have it or you don't. Curva V, still bouncing. I, I swear Napoli have had 20, 30 attempts this game. Minan has been insane. I think he's one of the best goalkeepers in the world right now. Right off. Napoli have hope. Osimhen makes it 1-1. One, on one. aggregate, it's still 2-1. I can't believe how nervy this game is now. No way. Kvitscha. No, it's gone. Over. It's over. It's Pyro in the away side. You see Milan players celebrate. Napoli fans clapping. They're still proud of their team. They're still proud no matter what. And congratulations to Milan. So good defensively. I don't know the exact number of crosses put in them today. Every time. Calabria. Tamori. Pio Hernandez out, kicked out, volleyed out, headed out, chested out, doesn't matter, they got it out. Blue Paro in the curve of B, even after they've lost, they still respect what the club have done. <laughs> They're through to the final four of the Champions League. Oh! Sheesh, Flair. Stop being thrown for the Napoli section. This is getting ugly now. No matter what, they're getting their third Scudetto. Mike Minan. What a player. For the match of two arms, these players are winning their third Scudetto. Naples is true to be brilliant. I'm going to say one of the best in the world I've been to this season. Milan are through. The third Scudetto is coming home to the stadium. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great evening. Bye-bye.